VPI IMG. And then she gets a little testy as well. Yikes. So, <laughs> ah. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I heard it was World of Snake Day, which I had no idea was a thing until about an hour ago. And I saw a ton of people um, talking about it on Instagram. So what better way to make a video about some snakes? So we're just gonna go through, look at a couple snakes, see how they're doing. Um, we're not gonna take out the big snakes on this video. Uh, I was gonna make a totally separate video and then we're gonna look at them later. But my common boa is like two days away from shedding. So I was really hoping I could capture her in her new skin on video, but I think we're gonna have to wait for that. But what better way to start with on the world of snake day, the mean and mighty green anaconda, which we all know neither is correct. They are mighty though, but they are not mean or not any meaner than any other snake as babies or as adults, depending on how you raise them. And as you guys know, if you've been following the channel, um, my regular Bella, well, not really regular, but my VPI Aztec, she is mean and we'll take a look at her really fast. Been trying to hold her and work with her, but you know, no progress. But man, this girl is awesome. So she was on the brink of death. We brought her back to life. And man, I love how orange um, she is right behind the eyes on that pattern. And I really think she's going to keep her green colors as she gets older. A lot of females darken out a lot, I've noticed. So hopefully she will be okay. And I do apologize for the lack of content. I had a screen break on me, so I had to go get that repaired. And that was a nightmare to do. So wow, she's wrapping around me. Horrible video. Sorry about that. Kind of hard to hang on to some of these snakes with one hand, but man, she is crazy looking. And she's doing very well in here. Um, obviously, the water dish that these racks come with, I don't think is good enough for an anaconda. So, because she can't soak in there, she can't do anything um, that like a normal anaconda would do. So. I got her this big water dish right here, and she seems to be liking it. Um, one thing that I do want to show you guys that I'm having an issue with, I think I'm going to have to black out this section because I put this little hide in here, but it's not really doing anything. And let me pull my cheapo <laughs> light over here. So the snow, she's doing very well, healthy, no problems. But I don't know if this GoPro is going to pick it up. You can see right there. The spot on the tip of her nose she's rubbing um, some metal piece up here because she's always at the front here and she rubs so she's getting a really bad nose rub and it worries me and I might have to put her back in like one of these or something so it's kind of concerning because I don't want anything to happen to her and I don't know how that's gonna affect her long term and then if obviously if she rubs it to where she doesn't have any scales and then it bleeds she could rub it all the way down to um, her bone and then it could get infected and then she could die. So I need to do something with her probably tomorrow. Got to clean out some tubs and put her in there, which is fine because my tubs are, you know, a little bit smaller than this, but it'll stop her from rubbing. And then the moon glow, none of my other snakes are having that issue. The moon glow's looking good. She's putting on some size. No issues on rubbing. And the VPI Motley is looking good. She needs to eat. She's getting darker. She's not totally dark yet, but it does take a little bit of time. But she does look good. Really good. All right, where is, oh, here she is. Here she is. Oh, we need to get her some water. I was gonna take her out, but since she's coiled up in there, she's probably gonna hate me forever. If I have my snake hook, 
I don't have a steak hook. I take her out. But I don't want to reach my finger in there because I know I'm going to get lit up. We got the male pied in the back. And then this girl right here just went into shed as well. The VPI, um, VPI IMG. And then she gets a little testy as well. Yikes. So, <laughs> ah! I'm telling you, both of these snakes came from Tony Antonini and they are feisty, man. Well, if you want some spicy snakes, um, I guess that's where you want to get them from because all my other snakes are perfectly fine. No issues. And then my um, Hypo Jungle Pastel is looking good. This is 2019 and she needs to get some weight on her. Some size because she's looking a little tiny compared to these 2020s and these 2021s. So it could be my fault. I'm not feeding them enough. Some of these snakes are um, eating a little bit too much. <laughs> I don't really know. So let's come around here. We'll check out some of these snakes. We just fed the black Mexican king snake. She's doing very well. And so we got this fire enchi yellow belly pied which she's doing what ball pythons do, rolling up in a little ball, like a rock. So, man, she's gonna look good as an adult. I have a male on the way, which would be awesome to pair with her. And we'll check out this other girl. Superfly Clown. Her colors are crazy i love how bright she is and the pattern down the back but i didn't i didn't know i didn't know until i got her that there was yellow uh snakes which is awesome so all my snakes other than the two are pretty calm so that's the thing people say oh anacondas are evil and they're mean and all this other stuff and i just showed you i can just reach right in there and grab an anaconda out and the other two boas which is what everybody else buys they sometimes hate me except for the aztecs she always hates me so i'll get her some water and who else do we want to look at oh yeah how about her she is still having some really weird shed issues so i didn't really clean her cage out too much because i really want her to naturally get this shedding off i did soak her which seemed to work but every time i soak her she just poops in the water so I can't really soak her for very long, but she's got a lot of her shedding off. There's still like a little bit right here. Um, and I'm just keeping her little area like completely soaking wet. But man, look at this tail on her. Super bright red. Love the patterns on her. So this is the guy on a red tail. True red tail. Locality red tail. And really excited that a lot of her shed did come off of her. Especially in the most important parts on her eyes. Around her her tail and stuff like that so we're just keeping her super um wet in here just because a lot of you guys said that the true red tails need a more humid environment than the other boas so that's what i'm trying to do and then once you completely get all of that shedding out um then i'm just gonna dump all this and put new in there so the shed doesn't affect her at all and there's no poop in there so it's a fairly clean environment and so we'll check out we've seen her like a bazillion times even though i love her the vpi uh jungle we'll check out this banana really fast and this is a male basically at breeding size right now or pretty much should be shedding out again here in the next couple of days but he is getting some really good size on him unfortunately i don't have any females to put him to for pairing so next year hopefully i'll have a couple clowns um uh, female clowns up to size and then we can see what he'll do with the pastel or my lesser which is the only two that i have right now that it's up to size so just want to throw this video out there super fast for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it i almost got attacked by my img vpi which is very rare for that one i'm shocked but it because but because it's she could be in shed 
Um, they do get a little testy, but um, yeah, she looks really, really good. So again, some spicy snakes in here and uh, we'll be all right though. So um, check back for the next video. We'll look at the bigger boas and we'll see how that goes. So hopefully you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next video.